We've got another Scantle to look at today from the company Ancel. This is the AD410 Pro, and it's also a battery tester. So let's open it up and take a look. Hey, what's up YouTube, Dan the Fix-It Man. Got another quick video here for you. This company, Ancel, reached out to me and asked me if I'd be willing to take a look at the AD410 Pro. This is a car scan tool, but it's also a battery tester. Now, it's a nice little compact unit. It's got a pretty rugged rubberized cover here on the outside. Now, it comes with a little user manual, so if you get stuck on something, you can always refer back to this, but it looks like it's going to be pretty straightforward. It just has an enter, an exit, an inspection and monitor button, and then up and down for selecting. Of course, we'll take a look at that here in a minute when we get this hooked up to a vehicle. It comes with a nice little drawstring storage bag, and then under here, we have the cables that you'll use for the car battery test function. And then it looks like we just have a little data cable here here. This is a USB-A to a mini USB. So you can connect this to a computer and download the updates, which by the way, this does have a free lifetime update. You don't have to pay once you purchase this, that's it. But that's everything that it comes with. Now I happen to have a car outside right now that does have a check engine light on. So I'm going to plug this in and see if we can read that code. And then we're going to use these cables here to test the car's battery as well. So let's go outside and hook this up and see what we come up with. I've got a 2006 Mazda 3 in my driveway that's got a check engine engine light on right now. The owner called me up and said, hey, I've got a check engine light. Is there any way that you can help me or take a look at that? And I had just received this tool, so I knew that uh, this would be a good opportunity to, to take a look and see how well this works and see if we can determine what code is present that's causing that check engine light to be on. So let's go ahead and plug this in and see what we come up with. All right, now right away the tool has turned on, but we need to put the key in the ignition and roll it forward. We don't necessarily need to turn the car on. We just need to turn the ignition on so that the tool can recognize and communicate with the car. Pretty straightforward. It says right here, OBD2, IM, which is your inspection and monitor data, battery, DTC lookup, review, and then setup. I'm gonna go ahead and enter the OBD2 and now it's going to enter the system or connect. Here we go. It says right away, MIL status on. That's the malfunction indicator lamp, or we also call it the check engine light. DTCs in this ECU one. So DTC is diagnostic trouble code, confirming that we do have an active code. There's eight items in the IM readiness or inspection and monitor readiness that is supported, three that are not supported. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And now it takes us to this next menu, the diagnostic menu. That's where you can read codes, erase codes, inspection and monitor readiness, data stream, freeze frame and O2 sensor test. Let's go ahead and read the code first and see if we can determine what's going on with this vehicle. Okay, so we've got the P0455 EVAP system leak detected, large leak. The most common cause for this code is gonna be a loose gas cap or maybe a poorly fitting gas cap. So we'll take a look at that here in a minute. This could also be a bad purge valve or a purge valve stuck open. We'll definitely take a look at the gas cap first and what we might end up doing is take off the gas cap, screw it on, make sure that it's sealed properly, erase the code and then see if it comes back. But let's go ahead and see if there's anything else. Yeah, it's just saying two of two P0455 large leak detected. Let's exit it out of this or go back. Now we can go down and erase codes. I'll give the owner a heads up that if this check engine light comes on again to bring it back, then we can further diagnose. But for right now, I am going to go ahead and erase. So let's hit enter. Clear, reset, emission related diagnostic information. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Let's hit enter. Please turn the ignition on with engine off. Press enter key to continue, which the ignition is on. So let's hit enter. Emission-related diagnostic information has been cleared. So now that check engine light should be off. So let's go back. Now here we have a data stream function. Let's hit enter. Let's just hit view all items. So this is just going through all of the different data PIDs or parameter IDs. Engine RPM is at zero. Let's go ahead and start the vehicle and see if we can verify that live data stream and see if the RPMs, for example, will start to read. There you go. So the manifold absolute pressure changed along with the RPMs. It's reading right around 1450 and it's even updating the ignition timing. Let's scroll down. There's the intake air temperature. Now it's saying 29 degrees Celsius. In my case, I prefer to read things in Fahrenheit. So let's go back. I'm going to hit exit. I'm going to hit exit again. I'm going to skip over here to set up and hit enter. Now right here, I can change the unit of measure and I'm gonna change it to English. Now we can also turn the beep off if you don't like that. You can hit enter and turn it off. It's not really bothering me, I'm gonna leave it on, but if it does bother you, you can turn that beep off. 
All right, so now I'm gonna go back up. The next thing I'm gonna do is take a look at that battery test. All right, now in order to perform the battery test, we need to unplug this from the vehicle. All right, now I'm gonna pop the hood and get this hooked up to those battery cables, the little adapter, and then we're gonna hook that up to the battery and run through the car battery test function of this tool as well. I'm just gonna connect this little battery cable adapter like that. And then we can connect these clamps right here to the battery. Now the battery is under this little battery cover. You can see this little battery icon. Just pull this off. Looks like we've got some corrosion going on here. Let's go ahead and connect these clamps to our battery. Just kind of wiggling that, make sure we got a good connection there. And there we go. That looks like it's gonna work. Now, the nice thing about this cable is it looks like it's long enough we can take this into the vehicle because it's gonna have us start this, turn on the headlights and do a couple things to test that. Now, it might be necessary to have another person help you with this test if your battery is on the passenger side or if it's far away or the cable is not long enough to reach. In our case, it is. I can just put this right over here inside the vehicle and perform all of the tests myself while this is hooked up to the battery. All right, so then we're just gonna scroll over to battery and hit enter. And there we go, we've got 12.7 volts and let's hit enter enter to continue. And these are the options that we have. We have a battery test, cranking test, charging test, and review data. So let's go ahead and do the first one, battery test. And it is a car battery. It's regular flooded. And it's rated in cold cranking apps or CCA. Now, if you're not sure on your battery rating, it's printed right on the top of the battery. In our case, it's 550 cold cranking amps. So we're gonna use the up arrow, go up to 550, and then hit enter. Now it's starting the test. Well, there you go. It's telling us that we need to replace this battery. It says its health is at 43%. Now it does have 99% of its charge. It's at 12.68 volts right now, but it measures the internal resistance of the battery at 8.07. And it's saying that it is time to replace. Let's go ahead and exit this test and go down to our cranking test and see how our battery does in a cranking test. So let's hit enter. Now it's saying turn the ignition off. It already is off. Let's hit enter. Turn the ignition on. So it says cranking low, minimum of 8.6 volts, max of 14.06. Now that means that we're charging okay at 14.06, I can tell in this test, but there is also a charging test that we can do. So let's hit exit. And we're gonna go down here to charging test. Let's hit enter. Now here it says turn off headlights and air conditioner for 10 seconds. It already is off, but let's hit enter. By the way, the vehicle is running right now. You do need it running for the charging test. So now it says turn off all devices, increase RPM to 2,500 to 3,000 minimum and keep for 10 seconds. So let's do that. Okay, so this is an unloaded test it's saying. Now it says turn on headlights and air conditioner to the max wind or max setting and keep RPM idle for 10 seconds. Here, let's turn on the headlights and let's turn on the air conditioner and let's hit enter. All right, I just turned off the air conditioner and the lights. It says unloaded 14.05 and loaded 14 volts ripple 11 millivolts, voltage is normal. So it sounds like our charging system is working great. And then down here, review data, we can take a look at our battery test report. So you can share this with someone. So that's kind of nice. You can perform these tests and then go back and review this data. So here it's showing our battery test results, the health of 43%, charge of 99%. Let's exit and go down, take a look at our cranking test report. There you go. It dropped down to 8.6 volts, but max was 14. And then our charging test report, pretty awesome. All right, I'm gonna shut the vehicle off and then uh, we'll head back in the garage and wrap this up. And that's pretty much it. That's the AD410 Pro from Ansel. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with this overall. I like the small compact size. It's very easy to use. And the fact that this is a code reader or scan tool plus a car battery tester in one tool is pretty neat. The two-in-one tool function, I gotta say, that's pretty impressive. Now, I hope you guys liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. And I'll get a link in the description to Ansel's website where you can pick up the AD410 Pro as well. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.